Okay, we are live. <clears throat> testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, audio levels are fine. So, hello, and welcome back to Kodeo 60 Plays. Last time, uh, live, yesterday we were playing some more Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today we're playing more Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC. And this is going to be hopefully Tower of Darkness stuff. However, it is leveling Cub Fu to 4. Um Okay. That should fix itself slowly. Um, if you're wondering what I'm referring to, there's a, about a second delay, currently. I don't know where it came from. Dragon Rush, please. Okay, this isn't going well. But, uh, anyways, yep, all we're doing this is just watching me pelt uh, dragons into bulls. And doing anything else. But, uh, how's everyone doing today in chat? Oh. Uh, sorry. Two seconds. There we go. Just need that. Okay. There we go. Looking fine now. Everything seems to be back in working order. Okay. Except the small amount of input delay. Which I don't even understand how it got there. Uh, if you're used to watching my stuff normally, you may recognize... No, I use a... Elgato Pro. Um, which typically doesn't have the imp for delay, and it's only the stick. I mean, it's on the camera was moving just fine. Hmm. I don't know. I wasn't doing this yesterday. Drill pack. Hang on. Are we at about the same speed? Because... I don't know. Oh, and... Thanks. The attack it's using speeds... Brings up its speed. 
Sucker. Sucker. Good job, Metal Tank, for choosing the wrong attack. Always a swell time when you do that. Okay. I am actively feeling the delay. Oh, this sucks. Uh, it's easier just to have the Pokemon run into me at this point. And actually, the delay's not really that important unless I'm on the overfield. And that's the only issue I'm having. So, it isn't too bad. Okay, yeah, I definitely get more EXP out of Moke Tanks. For this, I really don't need to be on the bike. That thing let it is input. Input. An input eater. My god, it wouldn't. Go pack again. Oh, yay. Thank you, Corviknight, for whacking me in the head, uh, or for getting para paralyzed. Doesn't seem like that's doing much, though. <laughs> no tank. Down. Level 42. Okay. Roughly at a level where... Oh, there's an remote tank. I just watched it face in and out of existence. Oh, I forgot to he heal the paralysis. That's fine. Uh, Brave Bird. That doesn't work! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Paralyze, paralyze. It's not gonna paralyze. Dang it. Oops. Okay, the attack power fell. Oops. Man, it's supposed to be roughly how much of the hit. How much HP you shaved off the enemy. Okay. Okay, what am I looking for? Do I have the lucky egg? Actually, I have 15 of these. <laughs> it's 
speed up. Let's speed everything up. Counter, I feel, is better than detect. Especially if I can live it. I'll take the, uh... That. Over counter. Focus punch. Not really. Do I have the lucky egg? Might be on our Pokemon. Held item. Nope. Nope. Not half. Of all the weird things I don't have on Pokemon. That is not one. The Kangaskhan would be a good EXP boost, depending on its level. Let's see how Cooper Food does in uh, first battle of its own. Dynamic Punch, Body Slam. Ugh. It can't w uh, win against that attack strength. I'll swap. Yeah. Uh, if I knew I was gonna use body slam, I would have done uh, sword sword dance. Twice in a row. Good job, Milk Tank. Um, okay. Let's use some of those, uh, proteins and stuff on. I feel like I'd want Age of Slash as a more defensive Pokemon. And a Pokemon would be more speedy on Cinderace than a pure attacker. Um, hmm. Okay, he's just gonna walk in place. I meant to get a... Um... Yeah, why not? 
I can also heal Cinderace a cup a little bit. Come at me, Kangaskhan. Normal type, so... Oop. I'm dead. Whatever its next move is, I'm dead. Yep. Well then. That's... That sucked. I should take Cup Fu to an area where I can at least get some... EV training in. Uh, 20 revised from the Pokemon League. Was it Pokemon League or Endgame? Hang on! Reversal's a fighting type move. Right? I'm not wrong on that, right? Reversal is a fighting type move. I can at least fly back here. Because of the one, uh, character. I'm I'm just now angry. Uh Okay, two seconds. That, uh... The... Inputs just got to... The issue on the input just got to me. Okay. Because when I'm looking at the screen, I feel... Tend to associate weight with my movement. And I wasn't getting that. I, I was getting way more weight to the movement. And not just like weight as in there's a gap. Uh. Like input delay weight. Like it felt heavier but because of the lack of movement. It's a very weird issue. But I just took. Yeah, let's take out poor defenseless bunnet. Uh, Bunnery. <laughs> Bunnets. <laughs> uh, I played too much Xenoblade. <laughs> Bunneries. Healing wish. P gained. I'll send anything when I see him come back. 
Never been eerie. I mean, perfect way to, on getting up to uh, level, to say the least. Um, let's not fully. The one time it's actively faster than me. It uses the one move that could deal a lot. So, something a flying type can't hear it. So, let's nullify it by attack power or typing advantage. Drill pack. I typically don't switch back to a Pokemon in Wilds just due to the fact that um, that gives the Pokemon their m move to use. But after all, the Baneeries also gives a chance of me potentially getting a uh, shiny. So. Not that I really care about the sh whole shiny mechanic in Pokemon. Never have, never will. Ah, oh, flatter. The opposite of what Tauros used earlier today. It's special attack to confusion. Uh, come on. Dang it. Man, Healing Wish likes to fail a lot. Ooh, wow. He snapped out real quick. Sure hit, a flinch, and two heavy, hefty attacks. Is what my cup foo is. Okay. I like that. That's the fighting type I'd like to use. Definitely. Ooh, a clef key. Not that I need it though. I'll still I'm still after all the Baneeries. Uh dynamic punch. Ah dang it. Ah dang it. <laughs> Back to Corv. May I have another one? Which I think in Gigantamax, if I remember correctly. This is just the one that I've had since beginning of the game. Uh, control pack. Man, it's a wild one. Pretty sure it's using... <laughs> Ooh, somewhat compish strategies. Uh, why? I wouldn't be surprised if it has uh, a cherry berry on it. Flyer, flyer would definitely be a bit good move on. Uh, Meow Stick or Dragapult, just due to their abilities. Ah. Hello, Baneary. You're not getting away this time. And trainment. Did that just 
Oh, only just changed my ability to run away. I don't understand what the significance of that move is. <laughs> then. Nope. Jigglypuff will immediately kill the Koob. Kubfu. Uh. Maybe I should have waited to use those until I got to level. This level. Well, I went up. Because I need to get to level 70 for the tower. I don't know what moves I should have on Cup Food for then. Hit five, so. Oh, this guy just get, is the reason you get all the Alola region Pokemon. We're just gonna do this all day. Slowpoke and Alola? Oh, it's just a normal slowpoke. Sent to the box as is. Good trading Pokemon. Okay, no. I need two more. Baneary. Uh. I mean, I think there's a random chance for Chansey to spawn here, too. Which would be a good Pokemon. I think it gives out a decently high XP amount. Not sure, though. That stuff was never one of my, uh. Knowing those kind of things were never my, uh, forte. To say the least. I know I saw one spawn. I don't remember if it was a grass Pokemon or not. Uh, Buffalant would be a very Ah. Scorpy is not really a Pokemon I'd want to fight. Dunspires! Does this look like the eyes of mercy to you? Or it look like the face of mercy, not the eyes of mercy, that's right. Oops. Say it, at least say it right. More than I was getting out of the Paneri. Oh, it's the It's a Wupa. Is it as you level you get the points, or is it... Iron Head. Oh, God. I swap or hope I kill it in one hit. Booyah. 
I don't think we'll be getting to Tower of Darkness till probably late this session, though, unfortunately, just to, to, um, that's not it. Pokemon. Up few is poison, so we shall restore his health. I can give you five hundred. You're the more outdoorsy type. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, so this is how you can get apricorn balls. Keep doing that. I don't have the correct apricorns. Yeah, Scorapy should be f a fine Pokemon to fight because I have uh, Aerial Ace on Cup Fu. Iron Head's also good if I feel like I need to start flinching it. And all its moves are not very effective te by technicality. Ah, except that one. And it crits on the first hit. No, it's just a high chance of critting in general, but... I want it. You really don't want to see it on the first one. <laughs> 295. Uh, there's a raid over here. I'm not online, so I'm not looking to play with people. Uh, licky licky. <laughs> this is gonna be one shot. It. This is gonna be a one shot, and I know it's gonna be a one shot. It's gonna be one. End up being a one shot. Especially. Slam. Dragapult. Due to its ghost typing would be the best choice. Random grass type move. Weird. But not unheard of. Oh, well done. I just have to be faster than you. Which is what Dragapult excels at being. Crap. 
Cramorants. This one it's in this There you go. Stardust I could use some more money. Two thousand. Um uh, Switch Pokemon. Electric poison. Uh, no, what? Some trainers will join the battle. Yep, that's fine. Electricity? Ground form, Sashian. And I notice there is no soul rock, so we're good. Dynamax energy surrounds you. Yeah, not that it means much. Hang on. Oh, electric is steel and electric's not everything. Oh. Ow. Your allies Pokemon got poisoned. Okay. The Crocodile is a nice Pokemon. Seriously? Uh, game. Apparently, I chose the wrong Pokemon for this. That's fine. I broke through. Stomping Tantrum will take it to its next point. Overdrive. It's just spamming? That's stupid. Boom burst. Oh, it just took all down all four. Oh, what? It's ten turns, and uh, if you lose four in ten turns. Yep, game over. Okay, that was the wrong Pokemon. Okay. Switch. Okay, definitely was the wrong one.
Hmm. Um, is there a psychic ground type? I think there is. And if there is, I, I most likely don't have it. It's water ground. I have to pick a psychic type that hasn't been influenced by the fairy type. Okay. Yeah, stick. Just to break up the monotony of actively leveling. Okay, this is a G Max Toxicity. And it hits like a truck. Oh, steel ground with a psychic type move would be truly the best. Okay. Which one should I waste? Um. Psychic Mindstorm. I'll waste it. Because I don't want to get it too close and lose it. One time you actually don't mind seeing any of the steel types or uh, psychic types. The a hole solar rock, soul rock is one of them. Battlefield got weird. No, we're already getting to here now, huh? Fun. Max Phantasma. Well, there goes the Steel Ghost type. Yay, step one. Don't die in the first turn. Died in the first turn. <sighs> Max Mind Storm. Fence field's gone. Hex. Drain punch. That will kill. Well. This is a horrible fight. Already. And the next thing it does is gonna have uh, the toxicity immediately fight. So I wish they took uh, some of these attacks actively took on the properties of the later ones. Feather Dance, Hex, Drain Punch, oh that's, hmm, oh Boom, Boom Burst is probably killing Halucha, yep, game over. Oh, 
that's crap. That's actually a horrible fight. Okay, Lilligant. Uh, pure Grass. Unified region. The only reason why I'm going after this one is the fact that I actually want it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Aerial Ace. Uh, should have remembered Kufu was slow on health first, though. No. Um, I will probably use Corviknight, just because Steel Flying will negate most of the grass attacks, granting me a turn. And two, I can then just use Steel Wing since it's not super effective. But all the fainting's not doing wonders on. Uh, it's definitely doing wonders on the happiness value on C Cub Fu. That's for sure. Uh, Steel Wing. I don't have any more Quick Balls. Man! Look, it's just a pain. Excellent! Steel, <laughs> Steel wings too strong. Police nerf. <laughs> Dang it! Paralysis isn't going to stop it. Even though I want to keep it. Yep. Dang it. Did I ever? Okay, yeah. Uh, I should probably go and heal up. Oh, that's definitely a Pokemon. That would be a pain to fight. If I heard that correctly, I think that's one of the few and only Pokemon that can't, uh... Uh, I need Pokeballs. 
Yes. No. I assume that's why you. Um. Uh, no. I think actually this is purely to get you in the, uh, mood with, uh, Apricorns. Again. So there's probably not a, uh, someone who will help you out. Two citrus berries, that's it. Uh, quit. I was hoping for blue and red things. There we go. Venipede. Uh, poison point should be my worry. Aerial Ace is an immediate kill. It's just fine. Okay. Close combat. Ah, dang. Anyways. Please finish it off, please finish it off. Oh, yes! What's in this den? Pure water? I'll use Leap Hound, yeah. Doesn't look like it's a horrible Pokemon to fight, so... Poke four Pokemon faint, or... Four faints, or a... Or ten turrets, that's right. Uh, uh Gigantamax Kingler. Okay. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, got, like, hairs in my eye for some weird reason. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, it's only rank, what, three stars? So yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. I didn't really think it was going to be super hard, but... Is 
That changes the abilities of other Pokemon. Super effective. Passes through. Eat more as Fire Lashes will probably end up killing or getting close just due to how low its defense is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't realize it had Thunder Punch. Catch. Uh... Great ball. Don't want to use an Ultra Ball on this thing, but I also don't want to give up uh, trying to catch it. And the stronger the Pokemon I fight in here, the better rewards. That could end up being good for Cup Fu. Like Rare Candies or uh, Star Pieces. Fishing pieces for trading for the things. Dynamax candies, uh, EXP candies, as I was saying. Know what a Kingler is? Nope. Nice big Gigantamax on the left side. Sent to the box. Um, Kupfu is on the more injured side after that fight. Um, you know what? Actually, I was thinking about saving it for later. But, now that I think about it, might as well just head back to Wedgehurst and, uh, get the other one out of the way. At least get the starting portion of uh, Crown Tundra done. So, why don't we do that? It's that way, then, uh... You can get some better things at. And also get any, uh, watts we should need for, uh, Isle of Armor, too. Oh. I'm here to sell first. Um. I don't even know how, why I have all this in my inventory. Thirty two thousand, twenty thousand. Why do I have a feeling that should be saved? Okay. No! I already sold everything. Oh, that's something I forgot they changed here. Thank God, too. But, uh... You get Premier Balls with every Pokeball purchase now, and that is a godsend. But, let's start, at least start tu uh, uh, Tundra, Crown Tundra, before, so that, if there's any more cutscenes, like, uh, the other one, they're done. And also, 
depending on what we can do in Crown Tundra, it might also be a good area to le re level Kupfu at. Because, obviously, it's a Tundra, so ice being a good ice typing area. Maybe rock as well. Don't get me started on the other two. Hello. Biology around here. Here is the Pokedex. Yay! I have to complete another Pokedex. That shouldn't be too hard. Honestly. Man. First walk out. Dynamax den right there. <laughs> uh, den right there. Yeah, it's kind of brisk from what it looks like. Come on, Dad. Lay off and quit following me already. <laughs> In the max layer. And I don't need you breathing down my neck. Would you lend a fellow trainer a hand? <laughs> okay. You, the boy over there. And he won't leave me alone. Pack me up, would you? Sure. Button him blindly. But if I just give you a trance in, this young... Lady here ought to see reason. He and he? Okay. What's your Pokemon? Copper Jaw? Oh, I'm not set up for this at all. Strike Bolt. Yeah, nope. With a one time gym leader. It is healing. Copper jaw is this? oh pure steel. Um, doesn't mean it doesn't have its uh. Okay, I came into this a little underprepared. But yeah, this will definitely help level. Okay. I'm in a dutter dimension. How is, uh... How am I getting attacked by hail? Pelted by hail. In another dimension. Uh, play rough, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I didn't want to bring out... Uh... Cinderace on a whim that... I needed... Fire types, but get smoked by a ground type attack. Okay. Copper jaw, flame charge. Me, flame charge. There we go. But watch out, next time it's my turn. It's definitely got a very. Eh. More of that, like, eh stance. Doesn't really care. Ow. Agron. <laughs> Too bad I don't have a focus stash. That, that, that right there would be excellent. Having a focus stash right there. Just come out and use, even just close combat would probably kill in one go. Dang. Uh, sword stance. Okay, I'm faster. So if I don't die this turn, I can rock a super hard sword on him. Ah. Okay. Definitely a post-game 
area, and I mean, like, double post-game area. A after the post-game's post-game. Where, say... Uh... What's its name? Uh, Isle of Armor is more so a direct post game because you're f dealing with the level 60 stuff from base game from just after Pokemon League. Guess it's not my place to be bragging. Kicking a fraction from a youngster like you. <laughs> Darling daughter, huh? And likes it. Must be. Of legendary spots I've planned for us. He is on a fine bow. Take care of those strong Pokemon. Yeah, I will. I assume the wild Pokemon are probably uh, on the low end, lower end. Yeah. Pile of swine. Oop. Got another one of those. Uh. Wablu. Go lead with Corv. Ah, hi, Brianna. How are you? Hmm. Doesn't show me my timestamps in chat. Oh, come on! <laughs> Use a steel wing, doesn't kill immediately. Okay, definitely an area if I. Nice type would be nice, but. Don't need it. That was only level 62, so. Um. Training. Uh. Training my cub food shouldn't be too difficult. Unless I immediately get wrecked by a like a pile of swine. I'd say pile of swine's probably my Is that was that an Aurora's? Fossil Pokemon, yay. Kapu. Oh. Low sixty five. I mean it's not too out of the way. Close combat. Should've went with dynamic punch. Should've went with dynamic punch. Oh. What is this BS? <laughs> okay. I only shouldn't have done that, but it was fine. And I grew to level 74. Uh, a couple who took way too much of that exchange. I won't challenge this guy, but 065 is Gigantamax Jinx. I guess I went a little too far. This must be the max layer that Neo was talking about. It's some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Yeah, you ought to come as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, but first... Oh, it despawned. Oh, nope, there's... There it is. This was definitely one of my favorite Pokemon of, uh, Gen 6. Due, especially due to its ability. And then it has a typing I really don't care for. Hang on. Stewing. Stores, that's always good. Uh, Snom. Current gent. Oh, Mammoth Swine. I was, I mean, I saw Rhyperior in the last area, so I'm not surprised I see it. I'll probably finish up in the next 15 minutes. But I also really need the leveling, so... Just taking out every Pokemon I see should be... Ooh, especially the Mammoth Line now that I think about it. Get over here. I'll teach you the power of... Uh, Corviknight. Only at level 65. And yes, I said only. <laughs> Take down. Yeah, I still get EXP from catching a Pokemon, so let's try. I, I did just get an extra Ultra Ball. Ah, dang it. Take down. Blizzard. Stop thinking about camping. This way. Ah, the max layer. Please, sir, I can't let you stand, sir, but something the matter. Uh, as pair, okay. Um, I need a heal. Dynite ore. Don't I don't have any of that. There's definitely some items in here for that. Well, let's do one. Yes. Very well, then I will proceed. A labyrinthine underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwells, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. For a team of four trainers set off to explore the mysterious Max Slayer, see if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to weigh at the deepest part of this unusual den. You must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Branches to a Dynamax Pokemon. Okay. You don't want to lose Pokemon. Yeah. 
this is. What is with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match Chairman's at all. <laughs> I will prove as a reward. One, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Oh. Uh Oh you What? Oh There's a strong water type. There they appear to be trainers. Maybe healers? That's not a normal type, that's a ground type. <laughs> Unless it's mixed. That, that makes sense though. Okay. Sunny day. Raise both my Ivy Sword and the Cherum's abilities. Ho 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 ho! I timed that perfectly. Super effective. Light screen. Okay. And the next one's gonna be reflect. Nope. Life do. I don't know. Needs health. <laughs> Solar beam. I just gotta see... Solar beams just getting blasted every major second. Stomping tantrum. <laughs> Man. That auto know is just taking all the hits in. Like the tank it is. Heal pulse. Life to you. Man, this this game actually this actually makes it seem almost uh, RPG ish. Got a tank, you get two it's two DPS and two healers. One while well, the healers also kind of you know take take the role of tank. Uh, I'll just throw normal pokeballs on the ones I don't want. Digger speed is definitely not one I really would prefer to have. Oh. The fact that I caught that quickly is a testament. Hmm. I'm good with it. Oh. What? The one healer took it. Uh, dark. Back, Packer. Oh, what would I like, Misty Terrain?
Uh, I thought they were actual trainers. Lyrifa, or Fievel. I think that was the translation. Oops. Sunny day. Taunt! Ah, she took the digger speed. Oh, seriously? Max Overgrove. Um, I don't think I saw a psychic type. I think I saw a ghost type, possibly. Depends on what this thing's moves are. Might take the, uh... This, uh, Feevil. Foul play. Grassy terrain. I just boosted uh, the next solar beam. And I think all Pokemon heal now. Max Overgrove. Taunt. Dig. Okay. What's... No, the other two are strictly picking other attacks. Yeah, Solar Beam. So I mean, it's not going to really need next round. Just to avoid using Solar Beam again in case I decide to keep... Uh, Max Flare! <laughs> now that's actually a very creepy sight. Bang. Okay. I'll still only throw Pokeballs in case I can't keep... I'm not gonna waste my good level Pokeballs on Pokemon in here. Waste. Yeah, it seems like you're allowed to catch them just normally. Uh, I want to swap Pokemon. Oh, wait. It's a wire type, isn't it? Yeah. This way. That's a Greedent. That moment when you see it's just ditto. And you're like, I messed up. Imposter. We're back here again. Oh. Come on. Ditto. I'm gonna taunt the taunter so that it doesn't taunt the one Pokemon that wa requires its abilities. Uh. 
Um, I can at least try using foul play, especially while I don't have access to uh, what's the move. The Dynamax version of Burning Jealousy because Burning Jealousy would give me, still give me, uh, the sunny day. Not very effective. I still take 16 point, 36 points of damage due to the fact that it was a crit. Now I'm wishing I didn't get rid of the Churim. The Churim would have been good for these last two fights. Especially with the rainstorm uh, coming next next round. Hyper voice. <laughs> he actively attacked. Okay. Dyn Max Flare. Because I have a feeling uh, that the Ivy Swear is going to try using uh, Solar Beam again, which would be a good idea. So let's give him the sunlight he needs. If I can go before he does. Yep. Okay. Explore. Still not very effective. It, wait. Does this Ditto have a sh have the shield mechanic? All the other ones didn't, so that's why I questioned it. No. Haha, <laughs> there's the heavy hitter. Yeah, uh, not that it matters much. Ooh, that dude. Oh, yeah, it has hyper power. I don't want the ditto. And whoever goes after me, don't get the ditto. <laughs> the NPC's gonna take that ditto and I'm gonna be pissed. I already know one of those NPC mons are gonna take that ditto. And I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> but this seems about roughly... Uh, God dang it, the auto note changed. And the pure water type at the end of the tunnel. It might be also saying it's normal type, standard typing. It might not be a pure. Oh, it is a pure, and it's too weak, dude. Oh. Cow. Okay, sweet. <laughs> okay, well played. Well played. <laughs> Taunt. Fan faster. Liquidation. Oh. Yep, no more heals now. Okay, yeah. Definitely. We'll take the calm mines over here. You're not getting that again. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah, digger speed better. 
be careful. Now Ivysaur is going to be using Symphysis a way, way more. This fight. Max Strike. Oop. Normal type attack. On the ditto. Up, oh, speed fell. Not had that meant much. Especially for me, even though I'm the fastest one in my group still, somehow. Actually, I think I'm tied with speed uh, with the Suicune, so. Yeah. Fortunately, I couldn't get to that in time. Okay. Yeah, please. Uh, especially if the water type attack goes through. My turn. Yes. Max Flare is not going to be a f very effective, but it will allow faster solar beams. Suicune, I'll put in a Premier Ball. It's a legendary. But, well, no, nah, I'll use uh, Ultra Ball to make sure I actually catch it. Extreme Speed. It might use Synthesis this turn, which is fine. Just, I obviously don't want the Ivysaur to die because it's our best choice here. And I ruined our Ditto's uh, liquidation. Oh, and I just boosted Synthesis too, so he should be full health at this point. Or roughly full health. Isabella's I be swear you solar beam. That's at least something the older games I liked more. Where you didn't have that like miniature pause for the storing animation and the attack animation as two separate things. Stat changes and abilities of the yeah, Pokemon. Unless it is a debuff done by your own attack. <laughs> huh? We can use Fire Pulse on Suicune <laughs> in heavy sunlight. So that was stupid. Um. A max guard. Ooh. People's done. Oh, God. Snarl. I 
Okay. Just can't lose any more than what we have. Oh, weakness policy! Ho ho ho! Of all the things to activate a weakness policy on the Diggers B. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was funny. <laughs> Suicune. I have one thing in the background. Um, Ultra. I'll let you keep one Pokemon. For some reason, if I, I feel like you didn't choose the legendary at the end of the tunnel, you're not good. <laughs> you, you, you're, you're weird. Okay, yeah, this one is a. Uh, it will actively do the free shakes. However, I'll still catch it. <laughs> favorite one of favorite. Of the dogs. As much as, uh, I don't, I don't know I'm getting the Suicune at level the level seventy Suicune. Caught a very special Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> nope. And it... The Suicune can go into a box. Hang on. I recognize you. Peony? Uh. Here too. He's as stubborn as a mud bray. Have more battles in. That's like pretty fun. If I knew where he was. If we ever find him. <laughs> Has been injured. <laughs> uh, both ends. Pressing her to do what I want is not going to win me a dad of the kit. Twice as nice to meet ya. Yes, let's. Freezing ton. 
Ah. Interesting. Not what I was expecting, though. But I got me a Suicune, and that's all that matters. Well. Anyways, that is gonna be it for today's, uh, stream. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Uh. Definitely a fun time. <laughs> uh. I'll probably do some more leveling with for uh Cub Fu off screen so that next time we actually do the Tower of Darkness and anything extra here in the Crown Tundra. But uh anyways, the next stream will be Wednesday the Okay, so Wednesday the third? Yep. Eight ten. Well, more like 7.50 to, like, 9.50, but anywhere between 7.30 and and 10, f within a two hours period, unless, you know, say like today I decided to have a shorter stream or a longer stream, like I did with some of the uh, Xenoblade leveling sessions. But other than that, thank you for watching. Uh... Next time we are going to be doing, hopefully, Tower of Darkness. Uh, as always, uh, actually, if you're still, anyone's still in chat and would like, uh, you know, my U YouTube, it, as you can see on the thing, it's Kelio 60 plays uh, don't have the link there, but do have something, I prefer that. For those who are currently watching live, uh, obviously, if you're watching this post, you already know what my YouTube is. You're on it. <laughs> but, however, I also am a part of Cube Command now, helping out them. My friend, good friend Tommy. Uh, at the time of this stream, the the streams, you know, original live feed uh he just opened uploaded i think am uh among us the next one i think is mario 30 uh, is going to be a special event one but uh yeah so go check that out youtube.com uh searching type in cube command uh Nice squarish, uh, red and like beige yellow squares that says cube command on it. We do a couple really good games. Uh, him and Nick did an Outlast solo series that started before I joined on. Uh, there's some parts of, uh, Hat and Time series, which yours truly is the runner for. Uh, and as I said, there's some Among Us content on there as well, if you like Among Us. So, as always, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a fantastic and great rest of your day. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye!